Hey people! Um, wanted to share with you my very first step-by-step uh, -step YouTube video. Uh, bear with me, uh, I'm very very new to this. Um, I'm learning and I'm sure there's still a lot more to learn. But I enjoy making videos and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get there. But I um, wanted to show you this um, stencil, balloon stencil uh, by MFT, um, which by the way, I ordered some things from them and it took six days from ordering to arriving. It took six days, which I thought that was pretty impressive. But anyway, um, yeah, love this technique. So somebody using it in YouTube and um, thought I must try. Uh, it looked really simple and really easy to achieve, which must say is not as easy as it looks because it took me about seven or eight attempts to make this background. Um, it went so wrong. Um, either I was too heavy handed with the applicator and just put a blotch on the card or because I had ink on my hands, touched the card and messed it up or because it was ink on the back of the stencil. So it just went wrong so many times and this one wasn't an exception because right at the end you'll see what happens uh, but yeah it took me a few times to get this right but I loved it I really really like this um, effect this technique and I'll definitely be doing it again so um, so yeah but this um, just one word of advice uh, and is to really little ink on the applicator and really light handed with the, with the ink and the applicator um, when you're applying it. Um, apart from that, just practice like everything in life, isn't it? Just keep doing it until you get it right. I think uh, this is the last balloon and that will be the background done. Um, and it's a very, very simple um, but very effective, very pretty effect. And then just with the uh, sentiment, it really looks really nice. Um, then I'm going to use my um, uh, Misty to stamp the sentiment. The sentiment is a uh, happy birthday from um, Hampton Art and is the stamp set called Vintology. Um, there it is. And the ink is the black Versafine ink that I'm using here. And there comes the boo-boo because the ink wasn't dried properly. And when I turn it over to put the glue on the back, I messed it up. But I, I wasn't going to check this one away. I just waited for it to dry and erased it with an eraser and it was all fine. Thank you for watching.